a review of the 2023 Nissan GTR. Overview The 2023 Nissan GTR marks its return after a year's hiatus. However, it does not come with significant changes and is still part of the first GTR generation introduced in 2009. When the current generation Nissan GTR was first launched, it impressed many with its mind-bending acceleration, the way it handled corners, and its affordability as a high-performance sports car. However, since then, its rivals have caught up and even surpassed the GTR in terms of overall performance, technology, and drivability. Driving Experience The GTR is easy to drive, and its all-wheel drive system allows novice drivers to handle it with ease. The acceleration is astounding, and the transmission is slow to respond to inputs unless shifted manually. Launch control acceleration is explosive, and the stopping power is decent, albeit a few feet longer than the competition. And The GTRS adaptive suspension works well to absorb bumps from poorly paved roads. The ride is firm, and the seats lack adjustment, and their aggressive lumbar support might be uncomfortable for some. The GTRS powertrain noise might appeal to those who want a reminder they are driving a machine, but it comes off as unrefined. The cabin is roomy and easy to get in and out of, and the controls are easy to use, except for the active exhaust and driving aid buttons that are well hidden near the driver's knees. And The GTRS infotainment system is quite outdated, and the navigation and voice control system are inaccurate and clumsy. The GTR does come with Apple CarPlay, but it lacks Android Auto smartphone integration. The trunk is relatively large, but the tall liftover height makes loading and unloading items awkward. The button to open the trunk is located at the lower shin, so it's best to use the key fob, Fuel economy and The GTR is rated at 18 mpg combined, which is in line with other supercars and slightly more efficient than V8 powered rivals. Prices for the GTR have increased over the last decade, but the cabin does not look as low rent as before, and there are fewer exotic materials than in its rivals. The GTRS warranty coverage is not as robust as what rivals offer. Verdict While the GTR still provides a great driving experience, its rivals have surpassed it in terms of overall performance, technology, and drivability. The GTRS budget supercar vibe delivers exceptional handling on mountain roads, and acceleration is rapid at full throttle. Its understated design does not have the visual impact of an exotic sports car, but there's enough going on that passers-by will recognize it as something special. However, we recommend checking out the GTRS rivals, such as the Audi R8, BMW M4, Chevrolet Corvette Z06, and Porsche 911, which are newer, more refined, and deliver just as much, if not more, physics-defying performance. The price, with its twin-turbocharged V6 engine producing 565 horsepower and 467 lb-ft of torque. It also comes standard with all-wheel drive, Brembo brakes, and a Bose audio system. However, if you're looking for even more power and performance, the Nismo trim cranks up the engine output to 600 horsepower and 481 lb-ft of torque, and includes a retuned suspension, upgraded brakes, and additional aerodynamic enhancements. Overall, while the 2023 Nissan GTR still offers impressive acceleration and handling, 
it falls behind its rivals in terms of technology and refinement. Its outdated infotainment system and lack of driving aids may be deal breakers for some buyers, and its cramped rear seats and limited cargo space may not make it a practical choice for everyday use. However, for those who prioritize raw performance and a budget supercar vibe, the GTR remains a compelling option.